God often makes a way, and I say that he is a bush faller of a different kind. And I'm going to tell you, and you're going to discover why. Dennis, please do come in. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Alfred. Good morning, brother, and you're welcome to join me. Thank you. Please do have a seat. Um, uh, I know a lot of people will say um, it is uh, giving back probably uh, what you uh, receive. But first of all, let me find out, how is it like being home? Oh, it feels great. I, I can tell you that for sure. Um, a lot of activities happening, a lot of development, a lot of progress. Um, cities are transforming. Um, there's a lot of action going. Um, places like Boya have um, great roads, great buildings that are coming up. You see entrepreneurial spirit um, everywhere. Things are progressing um, slower, but again, it's moving at a pace that is a lot more uh, faster than some of us um, expected and other people expect as well. So there is, there is um, real progress that's on the ground, and it's, it's amazing to see the resilience and the Cameroonian spirit, as I call it, um, yeah. which is really in action. That's what the president was talking about, resilience in uh, his uh, end of year speech. Mm -hmm. I was going to find out, uh, the last time you came to Cameroon? It was a while back. Um, it, it's been more than five years since I've been back in Cameroon, um, and in that short period of time, um, there has been remarkable, remarkable change. And uh, it's very difficult at times for folks who, you know, you're not out of the country to not see the change that's happening. Um, but when, when we come back, you see things that were not there are already there. Um, a lot of interconnectivity, the mobile platforms that are picking up, the startup communities that are generating um, a lot of jobs. You can see that a lot of jobs are being created by the private sector. And the private sector is what that's really um, stimulating this engine of change, as I say. Um, you see a lot of businesses, folks who are employing, you know, five to seven people um, in little enterprises, those numbers are increasing on a daily basis. And what we try to do is try to see how we can, you know, get those numbers to be larger over the next couple of years, maybe the next decade, and see how that can be. You, you, you are a co-founder of the Dennis and Lonera uh, Foundation. Um, you, 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 you're just close, to, you turn around 30, 30 years. I know that foundations, even Bill, Bill Gates uh, did that at a certain age. The Clintons did that uh, virtually uh, at the end of the presidency at a certain age. Um, a foundation we know is for all people. Who sent you there? Uh, yeah, Albert, I know. You know, that's, that's the thing. I think it's a misnomer. It's a misnomer in the sense that folks, you know, always think about foundations and things that are for quote-unquote old people. But I think that a, it's a misplaced um, notion. Why? Because in Cameroon, our life expectancy is 50, 56 years old or so. You know, do I think I'm going to live to 56? I don't know. You know, a lot of Cameroonians don't know. And even if you live to 56, what guarantees that you're going to be, have the resources to be able to make the changes that you think, the dreams that you have? So I look at it the way Lenore and I, we look at it is, you know, if we can do it now when we are young, that's when we should do it. You don't have to wait till when you are 65 to start helping people who are, uh, are struggling to get a job or trying to create businesses or helping business people who are struggling, you know, get better. That's not something that's reserved for the old people. I think it's reserved for every Cameroonian, every African, any human being to figure out ways of making differences in their local communities, but also differences you know, within the international sphere. So um, age is really not something that I have in my barometer as, as a, a gauge of what one can do. I think it's in the heart, it's in what, we, what our dreams are, and if that comes at 65, that's great. If I'm lucky enough to be at 65, well, we'll, we'll have to deal at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, let's let's talk about what brother to Cameroon yeah. and what the foundation is all about. It's all about empowering, especially um, um, those who have enormous potential but yeah. yet don't have the means um, uh, to sprout out yeah. uh, uh, the, that that gift. It's all about. Um, revitalizing the entrepreneurial spirit. Maybe you tell me a little bit more um, about that and how far you've gone in these dreams because lots of Cameroonians have the dreams, they speak about the dreams, and if you ask, but what have you done concretely on the ground, they still keep talking about dreams. Oh, but I'll tell you, you know, um, in 2011 or so, ending 2011, my wife and I, we, we took a trip around West Africa. 
and we went into Ghana and we, we wanted to go across West Africa by road, by land, to get to really see the place. You know, there were most of the times when we, we, we see things just by reading. And in that process, we saw what the real Africa is, you know, the daily lives. And then we realized that there are very little things you can do, very small things you can do that have dramatic impact. And that's where we, we, we launched the, the foundation. And a lot of people, we launch it as a named foundation because, you know, if I just say our foundation is the Sunshine Foundation, you know, when the going gets tough, I can just back out and say, well, it's not... Anyway, the sun was going the to sun set, going set, set, set someday. So someday, and it's just, no, but if it's my name behind it, I have to make sure that every day, you know, we work hard to make sure that it, it succeeds. But what we do is a couple of things. You know, the first thing is we look at uh, 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 empowerment and we have what we call entrepreneurship where we are trying to set up a small business and entrepreneurship center where we look at businesses because you know most businesses in Cameroon the majority you know die out after two years capital they run out of capital or managerial um, incompetency some of the little managerial stuff that that go we want to be able to help businesses grow for the long term so we are setting up a small business and entrepreneurship center that we are piloting already the second thing that we do is we look at projects and we look at projects and we say um, a lot of young folks are extremely gifted but have very little means of making that. Um, a few months ago, I got an email, our foundation got an email from a young man in Mbuya, um, Mr. Ajong, telling us about a young guy, Clinton Achale. Clinton Achale is a young guy who grew up in a small village in Etam in Kumba. And that guy was in a small village that did, there was no French teacher there, there were no teachers, and he had 11 paper, um, 10 papers. He wrote 11 and failed French. And in French, he had a D in French. I was actually very surprised that he had a D. He left and went to CAS, and this kid whose parents are very broke, and he has very little means. In the A levels, he had f um, five papers, four A's, one B. He studied advanced, uh, uh, further maths by himself and had a B, 24 points. You know, last year you had 40,862 40, students who wrote the A levels in Cameroon. He was ranked number 17, right? He tried to get into, into Polytech, but he didn't have the money to, to register. That's how I got, we got to know him. And because things were already late, he already got admitted into Boya. So we offered him a fair scholarship. But as we offered a child the first scholarship to take care of his fees and everything, and also we have been looking for, because he wants to do engineering. I asked him, what do you want to do, engineering or medicine? He said, if I could choose, it would be an engineer. But because he just does not have the means to do that, he's now in medical school. But we believe that we can help him pursue his dreams. And immediately we talked about the Achale stories. Folks started coming from the woodwork to say, you know, we want to support that. And right now we already have Cameroonians who are supporting four Achales. You know, and that tells you the, entrep the spirit, the Cameroonian spirit of, of wanting to help people. And that's why what we try to do at the foundation, we want to make a difference in people's life. And some, somebody like Achale is, is a prime example of the, the, the really good things that we can do as individuals. And as I said, that does not need to wait until 65, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to wait until 65. And you, those are just a couple of things. We also look at the policy sector. You know, if you look at policy, every time in the West, how you create policy in a country of how we are going to do our job, what, what is our policy in a country of job creation, of economic growth, most of the times those, are being, those ideas are percolated from uh, on think tanks. And you look at think tank systems in Cameroon, you, you, you know, we are not very strong at all. So we created the Nkafu Policy Institute to be able to bring young, dynamic Cameroonians on the table to propose Cameroonian solutions for Cameroonian problems. Mm -hmm. You know, it's high time that we get to now bring our own, bring our own ideas on the table and debate different ideas of how we grow our country, how we create jobs, what are the, the, the policies that have to be put in place. So we have dynamic Cameroonians who are the, are the institute. I'm telling you, it's amazing. But the vitality, the ideas, once you give them the resources, it's amazing what they do. I, I, I must say, you, you, you just talked about 
one a chale mm -hmm. one and, a chale. and I, 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 I might not be surprising to tell you that um, as we speak mm -hmm. there are at least a hundred of them dotted in lots of uh, rural communities mm -hmm. across Cameroon. Yes. How will you get there? Well, I think the, there is the good thing now about the power of being networked. You know, the power of mobile. Everybody is on Facebook. You know, when, when a Charlie's story was published, a lot of responses came from Facebook. So, yes, we, we are going to get to them first through mobile services but programs like yours hello is a great outlet you know to be able to reach people in various areas so those are the ways we are looking but also we use the formal um, uh, 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 educational system you know through the different delegations in the different regions you know send representatives there and have um, the headmasters recommend students who are extremely talented mm -hmm. and have do not have the resources because we want to pluck them if if Achale were in, in the U.S., in Canada, in, that, that kid would have been identified at five years old and would be manufacturing lots of stuff right now. Mm -hmm. you know? So we want to go after, look for where they are and find them, bring them up, give them the means and stuff. Like last night, our team, there is one of our team members, um, Karin, is, is, is known as Achale's mom because mm -hmm. she is in charge of helping Achale through this committed process. Committed to the process. Oh, committed to the process, mm -hmm. totally. I mean, the entire, the entire team is committed to the process. You know, um, and, and this is a kid that they don't know, they just met. But they see potential, mm -hmm. and in the Cameroonian spirit, they want to lift that up mm -hmm. and make and, and see how this kid can can because that kid can transform, you know, can transform communities. Yeah. I, I was going to say that this um, initiative is a game changer, mm -hmm. uh, but I was going to find out mm -hmm. it's quite an expensive venture. It is. Who pays? Well, the, the good thing is, first of all, every time you come into financing, folks always say, Do you, how many millions are you putting on the ground, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, be, uh, I think is, is, um, is, that's not the way. In the world of today, the first thing that has to happen is an idea. You know, the idea has to happen. For example, we, if we use the Achale example, right now we gave a, a, a single scholarship to Achale and we already have four committed additional scholarships from individuals. We created the Opportunity Fund as part of that because there was an outpouring of people want, figure, looking for ways to support. We created the Opportunity Fund which gives 100% of every donation that, you, that you, you give goes to somebody because we finance the administrative part of it. So 100% goes to helping um, stuff. But no, uh, Lenore and I, we committed that, you know, uh, 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 and we do have great, great uh, uh, jobs that at least 20% of our, of, our, of our earnings will be dedicated to this. And as I said, you know, that's, those are, those are the I'm things. Here. No, yeah. it, it is, when you see potential, you got to be able to run with it. And it gives us great pleasure when we see kids like Achale and see the transformative potentials that they have. Is it, is it, is it a kind of initiative which I, I, I could say stems from uh, personal experiences? Lots of Cameroonians uh, stem uh, from humble backgrounds. You tell yourself that you know what poverty is all about, so you should be able to to do something? Well, if I told you it wasn't, then I would be lying to you. Because, you know, some of us, we, we got to the U.S. as students, right? Struggled. But I went through medical school in the U.S. on a full scholarship, right? Mm -hmm. A full scholarship that was given to me, thousands, thousands of dollars, without me ever knowing who, who was behind it. Yeah. Can you imagine that, that spirit, that a broke kid from Boya, you know, is going to be going on a full scholarship and I actually don't know who gave that scholarship, right? Mm -hmm. So I agree that uh, there is, is no, is no, no, uh, the, uh, yes, we have to be able to give back and give back, you know, multiple folds. So yes, it definitely comes from that and from very humble beginnings and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you, you know that you, when you see folks who are struggling, you know, that's where ideas come from. Because if your back is not to the wall, it's hard for you to think about ways of improving. Mm -hmm. But if you have to think about where you're going to get Gary to drink, mm -hmm. where you're going to have for food to eat mm -hmm. and stuff, you, your brain will think. 
mm -hmm. you would be you would be uh, working every day to the nail to figure out how you can grow how you can help your family how you can help your communities and things like that so it is um, for sure interestingly um, you grew in an environment where lots of Cameroonians who are known today um, are kind of spend their childhood like the governor to uh, the west region of Cameroon stayed in that uh, a little commune in the Kokomembia sure. area there yes. and um, uh, very often when I see lots of you um, mm -hmm. and you tell me yeah um, I grew in that part of of, of Boya I tell mm -hmm. myself like the uh, program director mm -hmm. of Halo also has uh, spent some time there so yeah. it looks like um, it's a little Bethlehem frat. Uh? That's true, that's true. That's, that's so yeah. true. Your father was um, a teacher. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. a, 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 a head teacher. Oh, head teacher. That, yeah, believe me, it was very, a very... Teacher is coming, <laughs> is coming with your king. For a teacher will pay you according to your work. He was very, very principled. Oh. I must say. A very and, and we used yeah, to say it was, it was the time that we used the key, mm -hmm. but who also give you some carrot? If you true. were good, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, that's so true because th those are those are indeed the, the the lessons you learn as a kid, mm -hmm. you know, because you got to be disciplined, mm -hmm. you know, you got to be disciplined, you got to be determined, you got to have a vision of where you want to go at times we, we stray we stray away from that but if we get to you know come back to that you know, and, you, and we stay focused we realize that humble beginnings and great parenting and community community you know that encourages every kid community is what actually helps us grow helps us get to the next level we have just one minute left i was going to ask you how does one get uh, to you to the foundation? Well, if you get to everybody's on on email or on, um, uh, you can just uh, send an email to info at foretiafoundation.org, or you go to their website www.foretiafoundation.org. Foretia Foundation, one word. Um, you should be able to get to us, get to our team members and everybody. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very very much. You yeah. also maybe mm -hmm. uh, have seen lots of other Cameroonians who mm -hmm. may not have the means, but. Uh, uh, who have a lot of potential, probably you want to join us uh, on our Halo Facebook page so that we can direct uh, that info to uh, Dennis and Lon Leno and the rest of the team of their foundation. Thank you so very much I'll for coming. You. Great. And um, what have you eaten so far? So far this morning, nothing uh, yet. I mean in Cameroon. Fufu Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to do some hands on jamma jamma. The thing is sweet, <laughs> You chop, you drink palm wine, no, oh. no dance, a bassy jump dance, so oh. the thing is sweet, oh. That's right. Now Cameroonian style, oh. Thank you so much, and uh, greetings to Leno. Okay, uh, the nursery school boy has snacks, right? I share this one with you, ah, thank since you. you haven't eaten anything. <laughs> um, I had eaten something before, so... I'm going to drink some water from my bottle. My son was like, Daddy, if you must be considered a nursery school people, where's your water bottle? That's right. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for watching the first segment of the program. Dennis, thanks very much for coming, and we wish you uh, well. Please do come again, sure. especially when you must have succeeded mm -hmm. to, 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 to empower other Cameroonians. Thank you. Thank you very much for being there. We shall be with you in the next 30 minutes.